Hey guys, welcome back to Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal. Ow, ow. So I don't know how many of you are NBA fans, but there was a pretty bad injury earlier this week. And if you follow sports at all, you probably heard of it. Victor Oladipo, who plays for the Indiana Pacers, ruptured his quad tendon during a game the other day. And today, we are gonna talk about it. All right, so we should probably start off by watching the injury. So, let's do it. Now he's gonna take it right at Siaka. And a step back jumper by Victor, no good. And Ibaka there for the rebound. Length of the floor wow. pass, Siaka. They call the foul on Victor. They gotta say. I'm gonna pause it. So you can't really see what happened there. He kind of takes a step and then just goes down. But you know it's always bad when these NBA guys don't just pop right back up. Oh, I'm looking at this kneecap. You can see it. Yeah, you, you can see it. So there's the athletic trainer. Yeah, they, they called him the doctor. like, where's the doctor? So for a lot of teams, the athletic trainer will go out first to evaluate the athlete. And then they'll have some sort of signal if they want the doctor to come. And so I, I'm guessing that was their signal. But the doctor was already on the way there. And then I can't really see much on the screen, but I'm guessing it looked kind of gruesome because the trainer throws the towel over the leg, and I'm guessing that's so pictures of his knee wouldn't be all over the internet. So then he rolls away, raises his hands up, lets everyone know, I'm good. And it comes out later that he has a rupture of his quad tendon. So what does this mean? I'm gonna tell you. So first of all, what are the quadriceps? So I'm assuming you guys have heard of quads before, you may have even pulled one. So I'm gonna give you guys the benefit of the doubt here. What does quad mean? I'll give you a few seconds. Four, quad means four. I really hope you guys got that. So the quads are a grouping of four muscles on the front of the leg that help you to extend your knee. If you're someone who's been on my channel for a while now, you know I made a video a little while back about a knee injury. And at that time, I didn't have a knee model. I still don't have a knee model. Guys, those things are way more expensive than you think. But if anyone has one laying around and would like to gift it to me, I will happily accept. So you're gonna have to deal with what I have, which is my own knee. Let me just move this out of the way. And I wore some shorts for you guys today so that you could see my knee. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this bruise, but I wiped out in my garage the other day, so don't worry, I'm fine. So, the quads are all in this part of your leg. Like I said, there are four muscles. One is called the vastus medialis, and it's on the medial side. One is called the vastus lateralis, it's on the lateral side. One is called the vastus intermedius, and it's in the middle, but a little bit lower. And one is called the rectus femoris, and that one's on top, in the middle. And all of those muscles come together to form this quad tendon. So. This is my kneecap, and the quad tendon comes up, and all these muscles. And then on the bottom, there's another tendon called the patellar tendon that comes down and attaches in your shin here. And so that mechanism all together helps your leg be able to straighten. Because if you think about it, this muscle tightens, pulls the kneecap, pulls on here, straightens the leg out. All right, I hope that helped you guys visualize. If not, at least I got to show a little leg in today's video. So with that information, you can imagine that if your quad tendon tears, you're gonna have a hard time extending your knee. So as with any tendon tear, there's different extents. So there can be anywhere from like a small piece of the tendon that's torn to the whole entire thing being ruptured. I haven't read anything about the extent of his injury, but the way they were talking, it seems like the whole tendon is kind of just torn off. So even to be able to do things like walking, you need to be able to fully extend your knee. So if he has a full tendon rupture, he's not only gonna not be able to play basketball, he's not even gonna be able to walk. And so what do we do about this? So for somebody with a small tear in the tendon, a lot of times we can put them in a brace that kind of keeps their legs straight and allows that tendon to be pushed together so it can hopefully heal on its own. If the whole thing is ruptured, it's not gonna heal on its own. It's gonna pull back and we call that retraction and it's not gonna be anywhere near the patella, so it's not gonna be able to just reattach itself. So in that case, you're gonna need surgery. From what I've been reading about Oladipo, it sounds like he is going to have surgery sometime soon from what they're saying. And so of course, the question everyone has is, when is he gonna get back? How is he gonna get back? 
Is he gonna be able to be as effective when he gets back? And I would say to those people, those questions are really hard to answer right now. If he was somebody who wasn't an elite athlete, I would be pretty confident, yes, he's gonna get back to where he's able to walk and do what he wants to do in his daily life. The fact is, he's a professional basketball player. So after he gets this knee fixed, he's gonna be trying to put a lot more strain on this knee than just a normal everyday person. So will he get back and be as effective as he was previously? Maybe. Being a professional athlete, you have a lot of resources, including great surgeons, great physical therapists, people really pushing you with your rehab. So he'll have all the pieces in place to help him make the best recovery he can possibly make. Because he's not gonna be able to do much with that leg for a while, he's definitely gonna have a lot of building up of muscle to do, because when you're not using those quads, they get weaker and weaker, and it takes a long time to build them back up. So will he be back this season? No way. I think if everything goes well, including the surgery and the rehab, we can hope to see him back next season. As with every athlete, I'm hoping that he makes a full recovery, but only time will tell. All right guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, ring the little bell, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. I'm not kidding, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs>